Former President Trump on Tuesday suggested any black or Hispanic voters who do not support him should have their heads examined, echoing a similar comment he has made about Jewish voters backing Democrats. Any African Americans or Hispanic, and you know how well I'm doing there, that votes for Kamala, you gotta have your head examined because they are really screwing you, they are really screwing you, Trump said during a rally in Atlanta. During his rally, Trump railed against Vice President Harris, arguing she was to blame for rising costs and for the influx of migrants across the southern border in recent years. His comments directed that black and Hispanic voters come as polling has shown him making inroads with both groups in what is shaping up to be a tightly contested election. A New York Times Siena College poll published Saturday found 78% of black voters said they would back Harris in the election compared to 15% who said they would support Trump. That 63 percentage point gap in support would mark a decrease from 2020 when President Biden won 90% of black voters comprised, uh, compared to 9% who voted for Trump. A Times Siena College poll of Hispanic voters pu published the same day found 56% said they would vote for Harris, while 37% said they would vote for Trump. Exit polls in 2020 showed President Biden won 65% of Latino voters compared to 32% who voted for Trump. Harris has sought to consolidate support among black voters in particular this week, unveiling an economic plan aimed specifically at boosting black men and joining Charlemagne the God for a radio interview. Trump has in the past said any Jewish voters who support Democratic candidates should have their head examined. And he has suggested Jewish voters will be partially to blame if he loses in November. <laughs> now, one of Trump's uh, sycophants, who I used to talk to, um, didn't quite understand what I meant when I said Trump in 2016 was a much stronger candidate than he was in either 2020 or now. Now, of course, I'm not going to say that he's going to definitely lose next month. I don't, you know, I'm a, I. I think it's uh, too close to call even now. But you wouldn't see Trump in 2016 say that, oh, this group who I'm making inroads with, by the way, so it's not like I'm, I am I should be upset with them for voting for me more. Uh, if they support my opponent, they need to have their head examined. And I, and I remember very well everyone assailing Hillary, the baskets of deplorables. It was a stupid comment she made. But again, it's like you look at Trump and the head examined comment about black and Hispanic voters and I guess also Jewish voters. And then you look at um, Vance talking about childless cat ladies when there are a lot of people who vote for Republicans that do not have kids. Uh, it, it's just another sign of like how tone deaf they are and, you know, just creating their own problems. But what's really funny is watching him get so excited about getting less than two, less than one fifth of the black vote, and that's funny because you know whether you're talking about Candace Owens or Larry Elder or Tim Scott or the rest of this filth, the reality is even if blacks are not as inclined to support the, the Democratic Party as they were in the past because they know they're not doing anything for them, it does not automatically mean they are going to join the other political party that does not do anything for them. So. He, you know, he gets excited about the 15%. And then with Hispanics, he's uh, he's only up by five points compared to four years ago. And that still might not even entirely materialize. Man, it's... I, I guess I'm going to have to get my head examined. The, really, the only other person in this race I would consider voting for besides Harris is uh, Jill Stein. And most of that has to do with the fact that she's the only candidate that actually talks about Gaza, along along with the fact that, I, you know, I'm in California and, you know, the Democrats are going to win the state no matter what. So it's not something that would really be some game changer. But, man, you, you really see the decay of Trump in these, these remarks, like, him eight years ago, talking about the forgotten man of men and the forgotten men and women, and you compare him now to, if you are part of these different groups and you vote for my opponent, you should have your head examined. 
they, they just like blatantly voter shame. And, you know, I guess this is this is the election of voter shaming. Right. Like I remember back in 2012, you know, Romney had the 47 percent and then, you know, Hillary's basket of deplorables. Uh, and of course, you know, Biden's, if you don't vote for me, then you're not black and all, you know, that all that weird stuff. But like this one really has had it ramped up. We've had childless cat ladies by Vance. We had Obama saying that there were black men who possibly had a problem with voting for Harris because of her gender. We have Trump saying that these different groups need to have their head examined. It, it really seems like this cycle, one of the biggest things it's going to be remembered for is just the, the constant nonstop voter shaming. If this, if this group does not act like a monolith and support me to the extent that I think they should, it is not reflective of me being a bad candidate, not appealing to these people. Oh no, um, they, there's something wrong with them. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see if these tactics, uh, help his campaign out. I don't, I don't think they will.